Hello, I'm Phil Pambaker, and this podcast is to support my RSA 2010 conference proposal, When Good Crypto Goes Bad. Now, at every RSA, we hear about the contemporary status of crypto analysis, and one of the big questions for next RSA is going to be, will Shark 1 be broken during the conference? Well, imagine that it is broken. Now what? What are the consequences? And more importantly, what are the specific actions that specific parties are going to have to perform, and why do we expect them to perform them? You see, the thing is that, as cryptographers, we have this idea that if SHA-1 is broken, then everybody's going to be so concerned about security that they're going to automatically upgrade to SHA-2. And that kind of neglects a certain relationship between users and cryptographers and the type of situation we will be in if SHA-1 is broken. We need to be thinking about the consequences of that break now, not when it's broken. And when I've been thinking about this, there are some uncomfortable facts, like less than half of the browsers deployed and used today support SHA-2 in any shape or form. And that's going to be the, true for the foreseeable future. Consequence of that is that any online merchant that uses a SHA-2 cert that insists on SHA-2 is going to lose half of their business. Consequence of that is that nobody's going to buy SHA-2 certificates, and a consequence of that is that nobody is going to insist on only selling them. So CAs are going to be continuing to offer the SHA-1 certs even after they are broken. So consequence of that is that the browser providers are going to have to continue to support SHA-1 as well. This is what I call a transition deadlock. There's no leader in the system that can take us to the next state. We're deadlocked, trapped by that legacy deployment. So solutions? Well, we could expect the ITF to lead us out of this, but unfortunately, the ITF have been thinking about the problem of how they transition from IPv4 to IPv6 for the past 10 years. And that's a hard problem to solve in a consensus-based forum. So, and it's not just SSL here. SMIME's affected, DKIM is affected in a certain way. Pretty much every cryptographic protocol is going to be affected in some way. So what is my plan? Well, I have one, I just don't have time to give it in three minutes. Thank you for watching.